I'm like, yeah. Guess what? The, the camera's in here. We're supposed to be doing a, another workout. What do you mean workout? Yeah, workout. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing a great workout in your motorbike gear. <laughs> but the bike's running outside. Didn't we say that we're going to go for bike rides no, first so and we're going to come back? Do, no, I so said we're going to do the workout first and then we're going to go for a bike ride, okay? Well, so get your gear off. Lucky that go. I've come prepared. <laughs> okay, see you in the gym in just a moment. <laughs> I mean, you, you're dressed up ready to go bike riding. What's the story? People are waiting for a workout. They need a workout. The deal was G6R. <laughs> <laughs> then we said we're going to do the workout. Oh, no, no, but then we might. I'll see you for a couple of hours. That give the people what they want. They want the workout, all right? And then you can go off and you know do whatever you want for as long as you want. Welcome to another <laughs> great episode of Conicky Fitness. This is exactly <laughs> how it starts, every single time, right? Uh, that's right, he's not doing what he should be doing. Yeah. Yeah. I said to Nikki, just feed me and we're all going to be fine. So, look, well, now, well, so why were you down in the gym? I was waiting for you. Alright, so we're going to do the workout. We're going to do the workout first this week. We're all going right. to work workout first and then we're going to go into the kitchen. Alright, well what's one of the things you don't do when you're riding a motorcycle? You're not using your legs. So I thought we'd start today with our legs, eh? Okay, so this is the leg extension machine. Very simple, you've got this at any gym. So what I wanted to, to actually cover today is let's say you're at the gym and you want to know how to use one of these properly to build your legs, because this does your legs. Now I'll do a quick demonstration. This is a leg extension. It extends the leg, okay? A few things to bear in mind, okay? First of all, you want to set the seat forward or back. So when you're seated on it, your knees are in line with this pivot point here, this thing. Everyone will have one. They're not, they're not all going to look the same as this, but they'll look uh, similar. So you want to pretend that this joint here is like your knees. So you don't want your knees in front of it. You also don't want your knees behind it. And you're going to do that by moving the seat forward or back. This little adjustment here is meant to sit just above your ankles and low on the shins. Now, a good exercise I use for legs is this, right? First of all, as you, as you actually are sitting here and you've put a weight on, you try and do a whole series of reps. So I like to hold on nice and tight and you just extend up and down, right? Up and down, but I, I suppose you already knew that. But we're gonna do it over three seconds. So three, two, one, down three, two, one. We call that a 303. So three seconds up, three seconds down. You don't need heaps of weight, right? Now, what we want to do is that's, we want to do about 11 reps for, for, for thighs, right? So it's like this. Three, two, one, down three, two, one, right? Now you continue doing that nice and slow at this sort of pace. Now by this stage, everyone in the gym's gonna looking at you and going, hey, look at that person over there using that little tiny weight, right? And you'll be here, I'm telling you, in, you know, as the reps get close to the end, and you'll be going, oh my God, this is really starting to burn, that's right. You need to stay to pace, right? Just continuous, right? Three up and then three down, okay? Once you've done your 11 reps, I'm assuming I've done that now, I wanna do five quick reps at the top. Four, five, and all the way down, and then five short reps at the bottom. Three, four, five, and then you do half the number of reps again at three out three. One, two, three, down, one, two, three, again, one, two, three, down, one, two, three. And you're gonna do that for about five or six reps, okay? So the way to do legs on a leg extension machine so you don't hurt your knees and get a fantastic result is we start off by doing 11 or 12 full reps at 303, three seconds up, three seconds down. Now, I use a 10 kilo weight. That works out to 22 pounds, depending on, you know, uh, which part of the world you're on and this is a very light weight to do leg extensions with but believe me 12 uh, 22 pounds or 10 kilos is plenty to get a fantastic result right so just remember to get it done really well we try and do about 11 or 12 reps three seconds up three seconds down five short ones at the top five short ones at the bottom and then half the number of reps you only need to do it once and you'll get a great uh, workout all right so next time at the gym, make sure you use one of these like this and get great results.
See ya. Hey Nick. Yeah? I brought the mango. What? What are you doing? So I'm just practicing. I'm, uh -huh. I'm, listen, I need to make sure that these workouts are effective. Okay, so, so what you're doing is doing three seconds now. Let's do it really, really well, eh? I'll just put this mango here. So it's three seconds down. Ready, set, and three, two, and one. Down three, two, and one. How does that feel? Oh, that feels intense. <laughs> right, yeah. and, and we can put some more weight on it if you want. You want yeah. to put some more weight yeah, on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. All right. Now, after you've done 12 reps, 11 yeah. 12 reps, what are you going to do next? Uh, and the top, top part. Ones. Let's right, go, so let's go. all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, yeah. and short ones down. Ready? Yeah. And up. One. That's too fast. Three. Lock four. Five, put all the way down now. Yeah. And then do short ones at the bottom. We call them dangles. All the way down. All the way down. Look. Look. Four. Five. Ready? And up again. Three seconds. Three. Two. One. Okay, that's it. Woo! It, it looks like you've got that one down. Pat. I think so, I think so. Yeah. So well, look, so now you know when you go to a gym next time, you know how to use a leg extension. Absolutely, absolutely. So I think we better take our mango and maybe come up with a little recipe in the kitchen. Well, let's do that. Okay. Okay. There's Nick. Brought all the mangoes. Hey, excuse me. This is my segment. What took you? I had to get changed. I brought you the mangoes. Well, I've got mangoes here. I'm ready to go. use these mangoes. This is a good mango. No, I like these mangoes. These, so are, these, are, these are Australian mangoes. <laughs> Don't you want to use Australian mangoes? Yeah, yeah. I've got mangoes already set up. I'm ready to go. These mangoes you stick to the fitness oh, side. Yeah, okay, put them away. <laughs> but are you sure you don't want to? Yeah, use I'm them? sure I don't want to. Just take one. <laughs> oh. It's quite alright. <laughs> Hi everyone. Well, today we have delicious mangoes. As you can see, can't, don't try and sneak them in. We've got some beautiful mangoes. Now see these mangoes, how beautiful and rosy they are. So we've got a bit of yellow, a bit of peachy colour, and then <laughs> and they're ripe. So first up, I thought I'd show you how to cut up a mango. A lot of people don't know or are a bit confused or fumble with it. So I'm going to quickly show you how we prepare them, and then we're going to do a fabulous uh, smoothie with the mangoes. So. We take the mango, now in the mango, you've got the seed. So what you want to do is take a nice sharp knife and run it down one of the sides and I can just feel the seed there. Ah, oh, there's one of the cheeks. Run it down the other side. There's the other cheek. And when you've got the cheek then, you run your knife down through the bottom. So I've just done three rows there. And then I'll do it the opposite way. So I've got little little cubes, little squares, and then just fold it out. How beautiful is that? So that's how easy it is to prepare a mango. I'm going to prepare the other one, and then I might make something a bit delicious with these mangoes. Well, we're back. So, I've got a few ingredients. We're going to put them together. It'll take about a minute and you're going to make a, the most beautiful mango passion fruit smoothie. So, let's have a look at our ingredients. Pop them in our blender. We've got a quarter of a cup of low-fat plain yogurt. You don't need fruit yogurt, guess what? Because we're adding the mangoes and the passion fruit. So, just pop in your yogurt. Then we've got uh, a tablespoon of honey. I like my honey in my smoothies. Just adds a little bit more sweetness. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is add our mangoes. Now, what I'm gonna do is use the spoon, guess what? To scoop out the mango. <laughs> Can you please put you, the You said you wanted the mangoes. Uh, th I've got these mangoes, these mangoes. We're just so, guys, yes, mangoes. thanks, kind. Mangoes, so, <laughs> just use your spoon to scoop out the mango flesh into the jug, okay? So, I'm using two mangoes, and this should make about two serves. Now, I've got a beautiful big glass there, um, and so I'm going to try and fill that one up, but this basically makes about two serves. So, I've got two mangoes. And they're quite small, the mangoes. Now, I'm going to take some milk. 
This is the um, skim milk. <laughs> so I'm gonna put about two cups in that. Now, the mango is a bit fibrous, okay? So you wanna add a little bit more milk than the other smoothies. Ooh, that's about two cups. Hey, we're doing our first uh, recipe together. Beautiful. So, on goes the lid. Now, oh, maybe you yeah. might do the honours, Con. Do you want to do the honours? You yeah. can <laughs> set off the blender. So now it's on. <laughs> okay, we'll need a bit more. Yeah, mix it up. Secret. Sometimes when I make smoothies, is I might add a bit of a, few, a couple of ice cubes in there just to make it colder. Or if you want to pour it into your glass, pop it in the fridge just to cool it a bit more. So what I don't like to do is blend in the um, passion fruit too much. So I'm going to put in a little bit of passion fruit now. Okay. Because you always have, you always want some passion at with the your end. fruit. Yeah. Okay. So there's about three tablespoons there. And what I'm going to do is, oh, oh put, the yeah, lid on. put the lid on. <laughs> there we go. Put the lid on and just give it a quick whirl. Oh, yes, that's it. That's all it that needed just to get the passion fruit in there. And in we go. Oh, my goodness. Do you want me to clean the kitchen now where you've had yeah, it all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can use this before and we splattered stuff everywhere. That's why we're here. We did it. We yes. did it. So. Guys, how fabulous does that look? And if you really want to, just put a little bit of passion fruit on the top there. And there is your mango and passion fruit smoothie. <laughs> just in time for me to consume. No, 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 now remember, you've got a workout to do. So, please. <laughs> why just did the workout? Well, you can't have the whole thing. That's what, what you said. Wait, who's gonna gonna... drink all that? Well, anyway. We're going to go off and enjoy our beautiful mango and passion fruit smoothie. Hope you did too. Have fresh fruit, it's great for you, and we'll see you real soon with another great recipe. Now Nick, what I was trying to get you to do before, you see, yes. you know the technique you were using to cut the mangoes? Yes. It's all very good, but did you notice how you were holding the knife? Like, <laughs> it wasn't like this finger's got to be under here, this one's got to be around there, so, like, so you can maximise your grip. Really? So whilst you're doing that, you're working all your muscles. You want to but work your muscles, don't you? It's a mango. It's a mango. No, I know, but, a mango. but everything you do, you need to focus on exercise. I know yeah, you do yeah, the yeah, nutrition yeah. stuff, but exercise. Anyway, you know what, kind? You can just keep, keep talking. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna have a bit of my smoothie, <laughs> and, and and we'll leave the exercise up to you. And I'm sure my cutting technique is is good enough. So have some mango. I'm gonna have some smoothie. Yeah, Nikki <laughs> likes eating the smoothie. I like peeling the you know the wasted bits, right? And just going like, mm. mm, my mm. goodness, that. That <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. smoothie's good too. Yeah, but it must be me. Mm. Really, mm. everyone. No, <laughs> smoothie is the best. So enjoy your mangoes, everyone. And if you've got any ideas about how to prepare mangoes, or make a, have you got a special recipe that has been handed down in you know, by generations? Yeah, this episode's supposed to have finished. No, I know, but yeah. you're still here, you're eating mango. I'm we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.